For the disciples of John and of the Pharisees, fasting is a mark of waiting for the fulfillment of the promises God made through the prophets. But Jesus comes as the embodiment of God's faithfulness to those promises. He himself is their fulfillment. His presence calls for feasting rather than fasting. He is God's totally new way of dealing with the world. Accepting Him requires a new heart, not just the clearing of space in the old heart to make room for Him. By His sacrifice, which He already alludes to in this Gospel episode, He will make possible the acquisition of a new heart. Faith in Jesus is not just something to be added to all beliefs and practices. He becomes the determinant of what to believe and to practice and of the appropriate times for feasting and fasting. All John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to Jesus, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus said to them, The wedding guest cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it. The new from the old and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins and the wine is lost, and so are the skins. But one puts new wine into fresh wine skins. Lord Jesus, give us the determination to break old ways and habits that prevent us from welcoming the newness that you are bringing into our lives. Amen.